hi guys how are you doing i hope you are well blessed and kept up the lot guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's so good to have you guys here welcome back guys if you're new here karibu sana but if you're a returning subscriber then you are the absolute absolute best this is another video so welcome to yet another video guys uh, i'm grateful i'm grateful i'm happy i'm content i'm feeling so many emotions today for some reason i don't know why but great gratitude is like you know on top of that list of me just being grateful for the life that i have for the health for everything that god has given me there are a lot of things there are a lot of things that i have now or moments and seasons that i'm in now that i prayed for so i'm truly truly grateful that god listened and i'm even more 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 uh more hopeful to keep dreaming and wanting more because i have seen god being faithful and i know that he continues to be faithful i've tested of the lord and i know that he is good yes so guys i'm happy and i'm somewhere where i'm just from seeing lots and lots of horses so let me show you what the horses are all about and let's get straight into this video and see how it goes yes Yes, guys, so let's get straight into it. So guys, believe me when I say that Greenview restaurant has the best fish and finger, uh, fish fingers and chips ever. Uh, it normally just so good. So they're on Tubman Road opposite Jamia Mall. You'll just see the big green thing written Greenview restaurant. Most people know about it and they serve absolutely finger licking good fish. <laughs> So guys, when you take it as takeaway, they normally pack for you um, tomato sauce, chili sauce, salt, and this good tartar sauce. Although nowadays it's a little bit dil diluted, but it's normally so good. And the portions are really, really good. <laughs> hi guys how are you doing so today is saturday another day and we are going to fix this mess on my head it's bad it's bad i know but i'm having some tea and mandazis i hope you're well and i just wanted to remind you to subscribe hit that subscribe button if you haven't already this is your cue to do so like this video comment and on the description box is my direct it's the direct link to my um instagram so do that go follow your girl over there but yeah let's see how the day unveils Never stop the way yeah. 
Introducing Dan. He's single. If you want Dan. I'm very much engaged. He's very much single. Guys, I've gotten a natural, what they call a natural facelift. Oof, feels amazing. I'm headed somewhere, but I just wanted to show you how the hair turned out uh, when there's natural light. Instead of me going to show you with a ring light. But yeah, and actually this was my fit today. I was in that calot calot pants with that shirt and these sandals I was looking pen I was looking pen anyway hey guys good morning today is a day to be grateful and rejoice in the lord and guys I left when I was showing you how my hair turned out you see how neat Dan does like my hair the guy just does an amazing amazing job so this Saturday I have a function and I'm gonna be should I mention that here I think it's going to be in the next video I think I'm going to start it in the next video but preparing for that I'm going now I'm going to see what I'll be wearing it's not something complicated I just want something decent and chic at the same time so that's where I'm headed and then this is how my nails look so i also want to go and change this set into um i'm not really sure i'll know by the time i get to my nail guy so that's where we are going today is monday let's go do our nails get the dress that i want and then come back so yeah so scent of the day today is my barberry by barberry Ooh, smells amazing guys do you see the way Nairobi weather is not even joking like you can already tell <laughs> the line so I mean this I mean this simple uh, spaghetti top and a trouser and I'm just going to throw on top of it this kimono yeah so that's how i intend to look today let me bring it lower just a little bit but yeah this is how the kimono looks it's a thrifted kimono guys believe it or not i got this for 30 shillings in gikomba so it's like tied here but the rest of the place is just open it's a nice throwing kimono because it has so many designs to eat yeah but anyway that's it so i just wanted to tell you that then we head out let's go find a dress to wear and yeah go take care of this mess because i also feel like this time i let him leave them extra long so i feel like they are very long this time i'm not going to let them leave them so long i don't like them that long but anyway let's go then i'll i'll take you with me so let's see how the video unveils yes yes so the bag that i'm carrying is this i told you that i would carry i'm going to carry this bag to death that's what i told you guys i'm gonna carry this bag to death so that's how i look i feel amazing i look chic and nice See you guys, see you.
so guys i am done doing my nails and i got this beautiful pink with chrome tips oh my nails are feeling like butter butter i'm in this restaurant it's called beatrice i'm here to have my solo lunch so yeah i've ordered some food let's see what let's see how it goes then from here i'm just going straight home yeah i'm happy i'm grateful to god Mungu ni muema. so let's have our let's see how our solo date goes you can tell guys i'm just going to be talking like this like <laughs> but let me show you what the restaurant is like Viable, viable too. Let's eat and go home. Also, guys, I know you're going to wonder why I started the video in a black top and a kimono, and now I am in this. I felt like the kimono was too heavy, so I just decided to go with this simple blue top. The kimono just felt like too much. <laughs> Guys, today has been such a crazy, crazy day. But we thank God. And the sun is so hot. Yeah. So guys, I'm back home. And um, I just want to quickly, quickly take a shower, make the family dinner, and then see the dress that I wanted to buy for the function that we have. I've not found anything. Uh, I've not found anything that I like, honestly, the shops that I've been to. And that is going to mean if I don't find anything, I'm going to work with what I have, which I think I'm going to have to. I have clothes that I've worn like once, once. So I'm going to get something in my wardrobe that I've worn once and just wear that instead because... I, d I just don't know why I can't find anything. Maybe it's the universe telling me not to spend any more money. <laughs> anyway, because my hair is done and my nails are done and I'm going to make my face that day, I think I can work with what I already have. So anyway, I'll catch you up later. Let me just take a shower, rest, and then I'll see you. So guys... I'll show you how I make my favorite noodles. This is the Nala noodles. If you're in this channel, you've been to this channel, then you know the drill about the Nala noodles. So, how I normally like having mine, I have mine with some eggs. And then, for the noodles, I just put enough water, the bumbu sauce, the, the, the sauce that they use normally in the packet. And then, I add just a little bit of oyster sauce in it but this is how mine turns out so let's plate it then i show you so guys my nala noodles and egg are ready let me tell you this is normally so good when i tell you these are the best noodles in town best believe just believe the hype believe the damn hype because woo, so good so good guys
So guys, if you remember, uh, a while back, I went to the Dorai and I bought these. And I told you they were numbers. So these ones are, these ones are numbers. This is how they look. Let me put several. So I bought a kg and a kg was, I bought half a kg each, but a kg was going for 200, so half a kg was going for 100. So these are how the numbers look like. These are number one, I think up to nine. These are the numbers. And then we have the ABCs. And guys, forgive me because I have a cold. So the ABCs look like so. This is how the ABCs look like. But now, if I cook this, they're going to be too much. So what I want to do is I want to mix just one bowl of, of ABCs and another one bowl of the, of the numbers. So the numbers and the ABCs. So guys, when you're buying, I feel like even buying a fakiji is too much because a little bit goes a long way and you're going to see why. So I'm going to mix them. These are the 1 to 9 and these are the ABC until Z. So I'm going to mix them into this one bowl and then we are going to cook them. So as you can see guys, I'm saying these things go a long way, like a pretty, pretty mighty long way. So here I've mixed, I hope you've seen. I think I should give you a closer look of how they look. That's how they look. So let's cook this and see how it goes. So guys, making the numbers and the letters is pretty, pretty straightforward. So all you have to do is put oil in your pan, ensure that it's not a lot of oil, just enough. Then put in your numbers and letters. Please ensure that your the pan you're using is a little bit big because they tend to expand like popcorns. So you just put, in, put them in the hot oil. Once your oil is hot enough, ensure that it is hot enough in a way that when you test it with a wooden spoon, method the it starts to bubble so when it bubbles it's perfect just put them and keep stirring keep stirring and once you see that they are all be, they've all become puff remove them immediately so that they do not burn but this is like the easiest snacks to do <laughs> Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back. So, guys, our numbers are done. And this is how they look. So you can imagine what I was saying from this number one. See the way the number one is so tiny to, um, it's a, can I see a number one, but compare, contrast and compare. This is how the number look and this is how big it becomes. It's crunchy and perfect. You don't need to add any salt. So guys, that's it. Mm. They taste just as like the supermarket one do. Only that I let them in the oil for a while and I've realized that Immediately they cook, just remove them. Otherwise, they turn into this brown and then they're going to taste burnt. Like this piece. Let me show you one. You see, like this one, it turned like it's, it's burning. So, what you do is immediately they start heating. Immediately they're well cooked. Just remove them immediately from the heat. Don't let them stay there for long. So, that's something I've learned. But I have 
many more to keep making for my boys so i have a long way to go and learn but they're so perfect i'm taking this ball to my little boy i'm going to see his reaction but anyway that's it for today's video guys there's nothing much to say but i quickly wanted to come here and tell you to go and watch a taste of sin on netflix if you're a christian oh my god it left me teary at some point it's really really good so I'd really encourage someone to watch but that's just a movie of like two hours what i'm currently watching i'll put the the um, the poster for a taste of sin it's nigeria based but it doesn't have those nigerian feelings of ewo chimo chineke it doesn't <laughs> It doesn't have <laughs> it doesn't have those things that people eat about Nigerian movies. It's really really nice. I just say I highly recommend. It's a nine out of ten. It's perfecto. Then what I'm currently watching right now, of course, I've shown it's Blood and Water, and I'm watching it simultaneously with The Rookie. I used to watch The Rookie a while back when I saw it on. Netflix that's what I'm currently watching so I just wanted to plug you guys if you have Netflix and you don't know what to do or don't know what to watch I highly highly recommend those but anyway that's it I feel like this video will be long just a little bit stay tuned for the other video that is coming because it's going to be amazing but anyway for now that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching my video from beginning until the end i say these people who watch my videos from beginning until the end you guys have a special place in my heart god bless you so much for me and thank you so much see you in the next one stay blessed and bye bye peace